years ago in Eastern Europe. The twins Wanda and Pietro Maximov run from a wolf who chases them out of the forest. Gregory Rusov returns to his wife, Maria. She is the one who asks Gregory to chase the twins to safety, so Wanda can meet Lilia. She takes the lunar pendant from him, so he can change back to use human form, as they are confronted by Margali Zardos, who asks them where the girl is, and Maria assures her that she'll soon be summoned. Back at the mill where their parents work, the twins tell them all about the wolf, but their mother brushes this matter aside, asking Wanda to come with her to meet with Lilia Caldero, the Gypsy Queen. At the Gypsy camp, Wanda greets Lilia, the Gypsy Queen, and the old woman returns the pleasantries, telling her to come inside and is missing her mother. Inside her caravan, Lilia reveals herself to be a young woman and commands the caravan to go to Castle Rusov, as she explains that she is part of an exclusive group that Wanda could too be a part of. Wanda admires a large book, the Book of Cagliostro, which Lilia is the keeper of, one of the many duties as the Witch Queen of the Gypsies. Meanwhile, in Morocco, Dambala, a man adorned in serpents, enters a mosque confronting Tabu, the mosque's priest. Dambala, with a severed human head in his hand, demands to know why the priest had his acolyte slain, only for Tabu to reveal the head to be only a gourd, explaining that he needed to get Dambala's attention. Dambala picks Tabu by his neck, demanding to know what this means, and the priest asks to follow him. At Tabu's observatory, he casts a spell, displaying a gathering of three witches that happen in Europe. They witness the conversation as if they were there, hearing about the girl who will straddle the worlds of magic and science that would be perfect for their coven. Tabu explains who the witches are, his niece, Lilia Caldero, Margali Zardos, and finally, Maria Rusov. An image of the girl as an adult appears, as Lilia foresees that the girl's power will manifest in two days. Dambala threatens Tabu, failing to see how this concerns him. Tabu points out the serpent crown that Lilia wears, and Dambala realizes he must acquire and command its power. While in the vision, Maria and Margali urge Lilia to remove it, since its power is corrupting her. As the illusion ends, Dambala says that the maker of the crown is Set, great god of chaos, and as they make their way to the study, Tabu shows the visage of the Dark Elder Cthon in his wall, and produces a book, The Darkhold explaining that he is its keeper, holding responsibilities to Cthon that he must not ignore. Once he saw the witch's vision, he knew that Cthon wanted the girl too, for if she joins the coven, she would be in set service instead. Although he considers himself the better of each witch, Tabu is still outnumbered, but with Dambala's power, they would have the upper hand once he obtains the serpent crown. And so, Dambala agrees to join forces, as a portal opens for them to travel through. At the castle Rusov, Wanda arrives and meets Maria and Margali, being impressed by the castle's immensity. Maria offers her to come live here and to bring her parents as well. Puzzled, Wanda asks if she's asking her to work here, but at that moment Lilia teleports from a painting, telling Wanda that they want her to join them. Margali teaches her that she can only trust power that comes from within, and even more confused, Wanda says that she's not a witch. Maria teleports them outside and tells Wanda that her ability will manifest tonight while a portal opens above them, and through it, Tabu and Dambala emerge. A battle ensues. Lilia threatens her uncle Tabu while Dambala grabs the crown from Lilia's head, but before he cuts her head off, Maria raises skeletons to attack him. Dambala summons his serpents as a sorcerer of Set, but at that moment, Gregory, in werewolf form, runs to assist the witches. As Wanda is about to be attacked, Margali protects her only to be attacked herself by one of the serpents. Shocked, Wanda lifts her hand and energy flows through it, blasting everything around. The serpent crown is raised through the air as a voice echoes above. Cthon speaks through all as Wanda watches in awe. He proclaims that with Wanda's first ex, he manifested, demanding the influence of Set to end, vanishing the serpent crown and Dambala with it. He continues saying that Wanda is special to him and will not be loyal to any coven. And now, speaking through Wanda, he leaves with a prophecy. All of them will bear children of occult significance, but to fear Cthon above all others. Wanda is left unarmed, and nearby, Gregory asks Tabu if the Dark Old holds a cure for his lycanthropy. 
Tabu tells him that there's a steep price, inviting Gregory to meet him in Istanbul one year from now. The witches tell Wanda that she'll need training from an accomplished witch, but not from them, so as not to stir the wrath of Cthon. Margali tells her that she will try to contact her, but if she's not able to, there's an American witch, Arkness, that Wanda should seek out. Finally, Wanda is sent home as the witches comment on the young girl's impressive power that one day, combined with study, will have no limits. But for now, she's still a child. <laughs>